I don't like to brag, but being here five years in a row, I feel like I'm really becoming a Comic-Con expert, you know? Re really, though? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't be a dick about it. Yeah, well, I really... I mean, come on. Yes. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say when it comes to comic books, superhero movies, sci-fi, fantasy, all things Comic-Con, I think there is literally, literally no bigger expert than Conan O'Brien right here. I really believe that in my heart. Well, I okay. I do. Fine. I mean, you should have no problem then passing the just invented Comic-Con citizenship test administered by a true Comic-Con legend. He's one of the stars of the upcoming Netflix series Dark Crystal, Age of Resistance, and oh yeah, he's Luke effing Skywalker. It's Mark Hamill! Pressure's on, I gotta do yeah, something. Yeah, we just... <laughs> we just, I want you to know... We, uh, we, we just lost the Veronica Mars cast. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's on you, man. I that was beautiful, that was fantastic. Overwhelming, but... Yeah. Thanks, thanks for having me, Conan. And yeah. To a certain extent, uh, Andy. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't stand in the way. <laughs> I know, but it was, yeah. it's, uh, yeah. it's, it is an amazing place to be. To come yeah, 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 yeah. Incredible. And listen, I've been coming here, I remember I was here years before I met George Lucas, and it was the year they said, you know, there's going to be, they said there's going to be 5,000 people here this year. Right, right. <laughs> and that was a big deal. It was a big deal. We all said, and how many will be women? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least 30. <laughs> <laughs> but that was in the, in the early days of fandom. Well, uh, it's an honor that you would you. come here to administer this very serious uh, test well, of my comic con knowledge. I was what you were saying, and I have to tell you, I think you might not know everything about Comic Con. I I I hate to differ with you. <laughs> You're. You're clearly a very powerful figure here, no, but no. I know everything about Comic Con. <laughs> You have much to learn, my young Padawan. <laughs> and I look forward to completing your training. All right, well, let's, let's do this. All I am, right, let's I am not do this. Ask me anything. All right, I'm... here we go. There we go. First question in the Marvel movies, what planet is Thanos from? Uh, Titan. In what issue of what comic book did Batman make his first appearance? Uh, Detective Comics number 27. What is Cap... What is Captain America's real name? Mike, United States. <laughs> what do you call a starship that has to move back in with his, uh, a starship that has to move back in with his parents because of a crushing student debt? Uh, the Millennial Falcon. <laughs> How can you tell Batman is 80? Uh, his utility belt comes up to his nipples. <laughs> An ambitious young scientist and a bunch of top-notch volunteer scientists land on a planet inhabited by a race of peace-loving vegetarians. Which 1918 Danish film directed by Holger Madsen am I talking about? Who gives a shit? <laughs> How do we know that the Planet of the Apes takes place on Earth? Uh, they're wearing MAGA hats. <laughs> okay, now, I'm gonna name an X-Man and you tell me what their superpower is. Okay. Storm. Weather control. Nightcrawler. Teleportation. Wolverine. Singing and dancing at the Tonys. 
Okay, now what sci-fi movie from 1988 really resonates with Eric and Donald Trump Jr.? My stepmother is an alien. Mm. <laughs> All right, no, no. Come on, let's get serious. What Star Wars character scares men the most? R2, me too. <laughs> How many new Avatar movies are being produced? Four too many. <laughs> what is the real identity of Iron Man? Tony Stark. Black Widow? Natasha Romanoff. The Ancient One? Bernie Sanders. <laughs> now, if Superman arrived today, the president would tell him... To go back where he came from. <laughs> What do, pe what do most people who visit most Eisley get? Space herpes. <clears throat> <laughs> and what is the number one sexually transmitted disease among wizardry students? Hogwarts. <laughs> <laughs> What's the one day a year I rarely leave the house? May the 4th. <clears throat> <laughs> and why is that? Because of your annual May the 3rd Mark Hamill Margarita Marathon. Okay, how will The Walking Dead end? The zombies learn how to ride e-scooters. <laughs> Even after all these years, what do I still enjoy saying to bodybuilders? These aren't the, dr the roids I'm looking for. <laughs> what do... <laughs> I'm sorry. It's such an iconic line, I couldn't say the joke version in front of you. I was much better at rehearsing. Yeah, too. yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what did my travel agent say when I went to Norway? Luke, use the fjords. <laughs> What's the one thing? <laughs> I keep checking to see if my flies are. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> All right. Uh, what's the one thing Harrison Ford taught me that I'll never forget? How to make a bong from a lightsaber. <laughs> Finally, I'm going to give you a, a title of a Star Wars film, and I want you to name the corresponding porn parody title. Mm -hmm. Ready for this one? Yeah. The Empire Strikes Back. The Empire Strokes Butts. <laughs> Attack of the Clone. A Slap of the Bones. Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Stiff. A New Hope. A Nude Grope. The Phantom Menace. The Fan of Manass. Rogue One. Rogue 69. And finally, The Rise of Skywalker. The Rise of Skywalker.